It was February 29th. And I remember the exact date not because I sit and dwell on it, or because it happened to happen on a day that only exists once every four years, but because it turned out to be an anniversary. But that isn't the story you want to hear, is it? No, you want to hear about the bags. The evil bags. in three minutes early. I'd gotten there 20 early and paced around until I got antsy. Management was a thick prick about early clocking to read up time that they aren't scheduled for. But I'd only been working there a week and was still stuck in that kiss-ass mode where you gauge the time you leave your house for the possibility of traffic. And I didn't... well, just watch. Alright, will this be paper or plastic for you today, sir? Oh, we need plastic. Right. The paper's always breaking, stuff's always falling out of the bottom of them. You gotta cut the trees down and make the stupid things. Don't need them dumb things. You sure you don't want Yes, paper? yes, yes. I'm definitely want plastic. Alright, well plastic, one moment. I can put I other things in. An old paper, it ain't worth a poop. I know, yeah. Get a little bit wet and everything falls out the bottom of it. It ain't worth nothing. Well you out of you out of bags? Got to go get them, huh? Mm. They ought to just ban them. Quit making the thing. Paper's been around for a hundred years, but it just don't work too good. Well, uh, you know, that's... And, uh... All right, plastic it is. All right. That'll you go. Work. Thank you, sir. Have a good day, sir. Paper bag, you know. That's mom, Billy Bob. Oh, she's all right. Yeah. Fish biting? So you know what? Down there on 15, right there by the little catfish pond. I went out there the other night. Uh -huh. Got about 15 of them. Really? Yeah. What would you use for bait? Uh, we were using them, uh, that, that uh, dog food. What's it called? Uh, oh, gravy train? Yeah, My yeah. My dad yeah. uses that. My dad I uses that. I think he's the one that told me about that. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, well, he always says, fish won't bite till you bait the hook. Damn right. All right, well, you have a good day. Hey, you too. Hey, thanks a lot. Have a good one. Get back. Say hi to your mom for me. Hi.
the garage, shut the garage door, roll down the windows, leave the car running, and cry myself to sleep for good. But then, in the rearview mirror, fate rode by, on a ten-speed. Just a bag screaming. Oh, gee. I don't know. Maybe the last time I saw one bleeding and dying. Hey, do you mind telling me just what the hell is going on here? Yeah. I just saved you from being killed and eaten by an evil bag. You're welcome. A what? A bag. An evil bag. Is that their scientific name? Get inside. What do you mean, get inside? I don't even know you. All right, fine. Good day. Listen, I need you to get into your car. I need you to get over here now. Kay, I don't understand. What the hell is going on? Just, just listen to me, goddammit. I let the bags out, man. What do you mean you let them out? Oh my god, Kay, why? What Davey, the... I'll explain everything when you get here. I need your help. All right, I'm on my way. I will give you this shiny new quarter if you will fill me in on just half of what is going on here. All right. There's some evil bags on the loose. That half you already knew. Okay, so what about the other half? Listen, I'll tell you everything when Davey gets here, all right? There's no sense in saying it twice. What about my bike? 
forget your bike. I will not. My boyfriend gave me that bike. <sighs> your boyfriend gave you a bike? No, actually, it was my ex-boyfriend. Mm. He didn't give it to me. He sold it to me. But it was a good price, and that is a damn good bike. Yeah, well, it's bad food. All right, and if you go out there after it, you will be too. And we stay inside and keep the doors and windows locked. We should be fine. I gotta take a quick shower. When David gets here, I'll tell you everything you want me to know. But until then, just uh, don't have yourself to anything. I'll be back in five minutes. Seconds earlier or later, we'd both be dead. So. Why would you be dead? Oh, I, I was coming home to kill myself. Shit! What time is it? Two o'clock. Why? My brother. C come on. Your brother. My brother. He walks home from school. There's a bus, but he hates everyone on it, so he insists on walking. But uh, he has no idea what's out there today. What did you mean about coming home to kill yourself? What? Oh, yeah, I was uh, gonna leave the car running, you know, do it that way with the um, carbon monoxide. Yes, but why? Well, because, wait, hold on, here he is. Hey, Charlie, buddy, come on, get in the car. Why? So you don't have to walk. I like walking. Just get in the car. Why? Because I felt like being nice today. Why? Charlie, please just get in the car. Why? Because there are evil fucking bags out there that are gonna eat you if you don't, you stubborn little shit. Thank you. Don't mention it.
fuck is that? That's one of them. Did you do that? One of what? Well, yeah, I wanted my bike. It wasn't dead. Uh, evil bags. What the fuck is an evil bag? Hey, watch your mouth. You sure you weren't seeing things? I don't know we weren't seeing things. You sure that this is the bag that attacked you? Oh, yes, I'm sure. Baby, it's bleeding. It doesn't say thank you on it. All the evil bags say thank you on them, don't they, Kay? Yeah, they do. I don't get it. What? What does that mean? They're breeding. If thou runnest out of thy pleasant bags, he who they runneth outeth on need break thy seal of the ye old box of evil bags for the customer is a... What the fuck is this? Why is your manual from the 16th century? Didn't you get a revised edition? No, that's the one I got. Okay, let's see here. Your customers... Turn policy... Here we go. Evil bags. Mine says, do not open, ever, under any circumstances. Listen, Davey. I was just doing what it said to do in the book, man. I was trying to keep my job. Wait a minute, guys. I don't get the whole breeding thing. I mean, if the bags are breeding, shouldn't their offspring say thank you? Right, you don't understand. They're breeding with normal bags. Now there's no way to tell them apart. A couple of hours, they can infest the whole town. Well, then the solution is simple. We go kill the fucking things. Charlie, the language. No, 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 he's right. But how? Well, stabbing them work pretty good. Shooting would be even better. Right? Does anyone have any guns? My dad's got a small arsenal at my house. Yeah, but would you let us use them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad's always saying, son, if I'm ever in Kentucky visiting my dying father and you need to kill some evil bags, will I hide the key to my gun cabinet under my stack of pornos? <sighs> now you're talking. But we can't just go out shooting them in the middle of town. We've got to lure them to a centralized location. I live on a farm. My place is as good as any. Well, aren't she just in the giving mood today? I mean, what was it first, the firearms, now the farm? You're acting like a guilty man. But I'm not. We all know it was you. Okay, guys, does it say anything in the handbooks about luring an entire legion of evil bags into one centralized location? Well, we don't need the handbook to tell us that. Think about it. These bags are out there to do two things. Feed and breed. Well, we certainly aren't going to feed them, but I think a couple helpless mating partners might do the trick. A couple? Well, maybe more than a couple. Okay, so we got a plan. Better get cracking if you want to be ready by sundown. Hey guys, do I get a gun? Hell no, you don't get a gun. I don't even know you, girl. I don't think you can rightly tell me whether or not I have the right to bear arms. Well, you know me, Charlie. No, you don't get a gun. Hang on, guys. Here, let me Davey, Davey, hang on, man. I think there's something in the exhaust pipe. Pull it out, man. No, no Davey, don't! <laughs> Davey, hey, Davey, calm down. 
It didn't get you, man. You're all right. What the fuck? I didn't sign up for this. You, you told me these things are smart enough to stall a fucking car. Maybe it was just sleeping in there. Oh, fuck off, idiot. Hey, you need to remember two things right now. One, don't do that. All right, that's my brother. You treat him like shit and I'm gonna make you feel like shit. And two, we're dealing with some real mean motherfuckers who are gonna wipe out this town if we don't stop them. We need your help. So are you in or are you out? You do okay. Why'd you let him out? It was my job. Just let me ask you something. If there's a military draft tomorrow, do you, do you sign up or do you dodge it and split for Canada? I sign up! Fucking American. You're American, Davy. I wouldn't die for my country, and I sure as hell wouldn't send a legion of evil fucking bags for you just because the customer is always waiting and says to in the goddamn handbook! I'm just scared, Kay. I'm really scared. It's hard to be scared, Davey. We need you. I mean, our country may not be able to count on you, but what about the town you grew up in? People you care about that don't know what we know. What about us? Can we count on you? Yeah. You can, you can count on me, man. Bags. Alright. Just give me a minute, alright? No problem. You know, I know this isn't your fight. So you can walk right now, or you can ride. And I'll understand. I couldn't walk away. Not now. If I was gonna leave, I would have left right after you knocked me off my bike. When I still thought you were crazy. Before I cared. How could I sleep? Wondering whether or not you're being eaten alive by evil killer plastic bags. So you're with us? All the way. Alright. Well, when do you say we go get your bike? Yeah, forget my bike. He was an asshole anyway. Besides, we've got work to do. That evil bag left something deep in Davy's tailpipe. Something we couldn't and didn't want to try to get out. So we took my car. We stopped at every grocery store between my house and Davy's and raided the recycling bins. I have a newfound respect for recyclers. The drive was quiet. Everyone stared out their respective windows, most likely thinking the same things, asking their subconscious the same what ifs. It reminded me of how it might have felt before being dumped on the beach at Normandy in World War II. Only, like, not like the same, really. Aw, oh, damn it, it's locked. All right, hang on, guys, I'm gonna bust through. Okay, it's my house, I have a key. Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm just a little edgy right now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You live here? 
Now I just shower shit and shave here. What about the field? Is he gonna be a problem? It's my cousin Bruce. Actually, his real name is Kenny, but he's stubborn and only answers to Bruce. Once we convince him he's gonna get to fight something, he'll be a big help. It's just convincing him, especially what we're gonna be fighting. Kenny! Hey, Kenny! Hey, Bruce! Hey, cuz, what's up? Something big. Well then, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Kenny, we know. Am I gonna have to kick that guy's ass, Davey? Shut up, Kenny. Am I gonna have to kick your ass? Listen, Bruce, something big's about to go down. So don't ask questions. Just listen to what we have to tell you, believe what we say, and help us. No! We're gonna need your martial arts expertise. So what's going on, man? Wow, that's crazy. I don't know if I can deal with that, so I'm gonna go hop on one of my uncle's flying pigs, and I'm gonna get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> evil bags. <laughs> that's great. You know, I'm gonna feed his ass to an evil bag, Davey. Hey, listen, asshole. Now, I've known this guy about two hours longer than you have, and he saved my life from one of those sons of bitches, and this blood on my hands isn't any of ours. Now, I don't want to be part of this any more than you do, so if you don't want to help us, why don't you just go up into your room and whack off to one of your Chuck Norris movies and pray that there aren't any holes in this house bigger than a dime, because that's all they need to get in, and believe me, they will. They bleed too? Jesus, Kenny, they're alive! You don't have to believe us now, just help us get ready for them. When the time comes to fight, you can decide whether or not you want to believe. Okay, I'm in. So now what do we do? Well, there's something my dad taught me. Our dad taught you something? Yeah. Something useful? Mm -hmm. What is it? Fish won't bite till you bait the hook. Well, nothing to do now but wait. Hopefully they'll hold off till the morning, but, you know. Are you scared? Yeah, of course I'm scared. I'm scared for the town. I'm scared for my brother. I'm scared for you. Are you scared for yourself? 
Uh, I know what I'm getting into. But the town doesn't. My brother. No, he doesn't. And you? Well, you don't deserve this. Uh, you know, it's my responsibility. I let him out. All because I didn't want the bottom falling out of some old man's grocery bags on my conscience. And now, if anyone gets hurt tomorrow, it'll be my fault. You know, some people still think it's honorable to do what you're trained to do. In space, if a man's out on a tether and he can't get back in, then they're trained to cut him loose. Yes, but again, an astronaut knows he's taking that chance before he leaves the ground. I mean, he didn't... Right off on your bike, expecting to be in some fight you had nothing to do with? None of you did. I mean, did you see Davy today? Oh, he's not cut out for this. If there's a kid drowning, I'm the guy who jumps in and plays the hero. Davy's the guy who tells the kid to tread water and that a hero will be there shortly. Hey, come on, man. Get out of this stuff. I thought you said the key was under the pornos. Well, it was, but I was obviously wrong about what that key opened. Davy, man, that's your parents' stuff. I don't think... By the way, I don't believe we've met. My name's Kay. Laura. You sure you want to do this, Laura? Because I could take you home right now. But then where would I be? Home. You know, those bags are out there. I'd be in just as much danger at home, only without a man who likes to play hero. Whoa, whoa. I'm sorry, guys, but, uh, we made a discovery upstairs that you might want to come see. It's some crazy shit. Watch your mouth, Charlie. All right, boys, what's the big discovery that we just had to come see? Well, she may have missed a day or two, but on the whole, this is 20-plus years of my mother's life in detail and chronological order. Oh, well. So you stuck your nose where it didn't belong, and you found out your mom could write. Now, unless there's something in there about how she fought and destroyed an entire slew of pissed-off plastic bags, and I really don't know what we're doing here. May 3rd, 1982. Dear Diary, my little Davy's almost six months old and plump as a holiday roast. What? Hang on. Okay, here we go. Robbie, that's my dad, took a second job today. I didn't want him to, but he said it was best for the baby. I suppose he's right, but I miss having him around. Since he now works at a little grocery store, you get discounts on formula and blah, blah, blah. Davy, that could have been any grocery store. I mean, don't you think you'd know if your dad worked at the same store that you did? December 12th, 1982. Dear Diary, my little Davy took his first steps this week. He hasn't quite got the balance down, but he must have strong legs to keep his fat little body. What? What the hell? Hang on. I just had it. Okay, here we go. The second job is driving Robbie insane. He's always tired and twice this week I heard him mumbling in his sleep. Something about evil bats or something. Yada yada yada. Davey, do you think your dad knew about the evil bags? I know he did. But you can't be sure. November 83. Dear Diary, David turned two this week and I'm afraid he's going to become one of those beast babies I read about in Reader's Digest. What the fuck? So stop feeding me so much, mother! This isn't... Hang on. Christmas came early this year. Sadly, it came in the form of Robbie's mom dying. After the funeral, his dad is moving back to Kentucky and leaving us the farmhouse. A real house. I'm excited, of course, but I'm also a little scared. Robbie got promoted at the store and started buying a gun every month. He says he wants to be prepared. 
for what he won't say. Now all this happened in a span of about a year. But if that's not enough, look what else I found. The manual. Fuck. So it did know. Yeah, and it scared the shit out of him. Hey, Charlie. What's your language? And what about the guns? No such luck. I found the key for what I thought was... Holy shit! What? I saw him hide the key once and always assumed it was to the gun cabinet, but shit! Now it all makes sense. It does? Uh, I'm still confused. Me too. Fuck! Charlie! He was never allowed up here, ever. So after a while, I just stopped wondering what he was hiding. Get ready. For what? I have no idea. I don't get it. I know my dad didn't come out here hours at a time to, to eat hay. Uh, guys? That explains it. The suspense builds. Up you go. Fuck that, I ain't going up. Hey, Charlie. No, fuck you, Kay, you fucking hypocrite. I listen to you spout obscenities like they help you breathe and then turn around and reprimand me for the same thing. Yeah, but Charlie, I'm older than you. I don't care if you're older, wise, or whatever. It's like fucking in front of a monkey and getting pissed when he whacks off. What? Fuck you, Kay. That's what it all boils down to. Fuck you. I ain't going up that ladder. I will. Can't see a thing up here. Just hang on, guys. We don't know what's up here. All right, I think I found the lamp. Oh. It's all right. It's all right. It's, it's dead. It looks like Uncle Bob's portrait did first, though. He didn't. Look at this. He was studying them. He was learning their structure, why, why it works, how it kills. Jesus, he was thinking of doing more than that. If I'm in this noose, I had no choice. I fought them off as long as possible, but if they drove me back this far, they were too strong, and I wasn't going to let them get me. I'm sorry. Rob, he was gonna kill himself, baby. Only if he had to. Wait, guys. Listen to this. To the naked eye, they appear as pointless and simple as a jellyfish, floating along with no apparent internal structure. But when stabbed, they bleed. When burned, they scream. And when hungry, they attack. So he knew everything that we know. Wait, wait, listen. Through experimentation, I've learned that these bags feed almost exactly as a Venus flytrap does. However, these bags are mobile and not limited to insects and frogs, and therefore are much more dangerous. Jesus, Davey. How did Uncle Bob know all this stuff? It's all there in the notes. I guess he was just studying them, getting ready. But, I mean, both of you worked there and you didn't go crazy. Yeah, we didn't get promoted. Well, maybe they told him more and more about the bags the longer he worked there. And maybe that's why he bought the store. What? Look at this. Store order forms. Remember, from training, if we're low on something, we fill out a stock form, we stick it in the manager's bin outside of his office, right? Yes, yeah, so. well, I filled this one out three days ago. And now why does your dad have it in his secret barn lair? All right, now look at this, look at this. There's tons of them. They're all filled out. 
They're all initialed RT. There must be hundreds of them. Well, what could the store need that much of? Guess. Yeah, well, you'd be right. Bags. My guess is your dad bought the store, but he kept the management position so he could always make sure there were enough bags to stop so that the evil ones never got out. And it's tough luck for us here, Grandpa. to go and start dying. Your dad deleted the state. I'm guessing he set everything up with Joffrey. He's the assistant manager. I mean, I've opened the store the last two days and you've closed it. Joffrey's supposed to come in somewhere between our shifts, but I haven't seen him. Shit. What? Joffrey called me sick as a dog the night before, saying he won't be able to make it in the next day. He asked me to send out the stock forms. But? I forgot. So there were no bags ordered. So it's your fault. Fuck off, Kenny. Yeah, I mean, I did let him out. Well, so it's both your fault. Well, fuck off, Kenny. Hey, guys, what's going on up there? Well, if you'd have climbed the damn ladder, you'd know. You guys, just please don't go throwing blame. It's nobody's fault. Yes, it is. It's his fault for letting them out and his fault for not ordering them. It's both their faults. Fuck off, Kenny. My God, you know, we're going to have to fight these things, and unless we want to use our hands, then I suggest we start looking for weapons. Now, we can't use the guns, so... Not all of them, anyway. I found it in my dad's box. It's only got six bullets. Baby, just... Take it, man. It's your dad's gun. Come on, Kay. Who are we kidding? I've never fired a gun in my life. And even if I could, I'd probably unload it into the first bag that I saw. So come on. Take it. Thanks, Davey. All right, guys. Now, Laura's right. I mean, come on. This is a farm. There's got to be something sharp around here we can use as a weapon. Hey, look, ho. What'd you say? I said ho. All right. That'll work. That'll work. And I got a view gun in my room. That'll work, too. You will? Uh, listen, Laura. Guys, I mean, do you ever think these things are going to beat you? Yeah, okay. They're evil. Yeah, oh, sure. They can eat like a Venus flytrap, but come on. I mean, the devil put that evil in the wrong form. Just plastic bags. Anything that would normally stop one still will. What are you going to use? You know what uh, five years of cutting the grass for pocket money will get you? What? Experience. <laughs> All right, well, we have a long day ahead of us, so I suggest we all just go try to get some sleep. Sorry, I forgot to send out the orders. Just... No, no. Evil's the asshole, Davy. Remember that. All right, not you or I. We're gonna be all right. Just get some sleep. Good night. And uh, Ashi, I get a room. Yeah, I talked it over with Davy. You get the guest room. sleep in my bed tomorrow night when all this is over. You're not gonna sleep. No, I'll be I'll be right out front if you need me. I'm, if you need anything. Okay. Okay. Good night. Good night, Kay.
Hey, Aunt Kathy? Yeah, it's me. I know, I'm, I'm so sorry I worried you. It's just, um, I ran into one of my friends and we started hanging out and it just got late, so I'm just gonna crash at her place tonight. I know I should have called, I'm so sorry. So, did you finish dinner okay? I am. So how are you? Are you okay? I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Just, um, do me a favor tonight, okay? Just make sure that the doors and the windows are all locked. Don't forget, please. Okay. I love you. I feel I'm coming in The shadows are coming up the light again, again And I would appreciate If you would stay with me and wait I could really use some company For a change Can you show me God. Tell me this. I don't want to let my dad down. Stop. And I'll cry. I see her. Like a ghost that always seems to find me. I had said that I was afraid for Laura, for my brother, and that was true. But that night I cared more about the town than I had my entire life. I started to think of the people, the faces in the crowd, the folks I'd wave to on the street, neighbors. Those things were out there because of me. They were crawling through doggy doors, inching their way through plumbing to slide out of sinks, nesting in mailboxes, slipping under cracked windows like the wind. They were killing. And I couldn't get the image out of my mind. But to think that I was the cause of so much pain ate away at me. There is such a thin line between what a person will do when laden with guilt. Blame himself and attempt to make it right by exacting revenge, or attempt to escape responsibility by harming himself. I had already tried to escape him, but now I had to make it right. She said she couldn't sleep, and that she'd found something important in Davy's dad's notes. But then I kissed her. Lucky for me, she kissed back. But unlucky for us, it made her forget whatever important fact she'd found in those notes. And in hindsight, it was pretty fucking important. Are you really trying to kill yourself in that garage? Yeah. Why? To escape the fight? No. You. It's such a fucking cop out. I know, I know that, but I wanted to die because the bags were out, and then it was my fault, and there was nothing I could do about it. But then you were by, and that was one that I could do something about. And listen, I don't know how many people out there have been had by these things, but I swear I'm going to fight like I have a personal vendetta against every fucking one of those things. Okay.
Don't look. Don't look. Not yet. I hate surprises. You're really gonna hate this one. They're here, aren't they? Yeah, it's gonna be okay. Listen, I need you to go upstairs. I need you to get the guys. I need you to get them ready. Okay. This is it, isn't it? Yeah. We're gonna be fine. Let's go get them. right now decides whether you're Bruce or Kenny for the rest of your life. Well, if I decide to fight, the rest of my life could very well be confined to the next few hours. We don't expect you to do this, Bruce, but we are asking. You ready? Fuck. Come on. Hey, hey, what do you think you're doing? I'm gonna help. Yeah, you're gonna help guard the house. You're gonna stay inside. You're gonna keep all the doors and windows locked and you're gonna stay put. Where's Bruce? I don't know. I thought he was up Just getting there. ready. Nothing wrong with being a little parrot, is there? Thanks, Bruce. Kenny, actually. It's Kenny from here on out. So how's the view? See for yourself. Holy God. We know most of those fuckers like fire, don't we, Davey? Yeah. So if any get near you, give them a taste. Okay. Okay, now, even if those bags do make it to the barn and breed, I don't think our bait bags are going to be able to pull off those staples, but... Do you really want to find out? Not particularly, no. Well, then, let's go kill as many of those fuckers as we can. Unexpected, Davy. So the torch went out. You could have used it to beat the thing to death. All right? We're smarter than these things. Start using your fucking head.
You okay? Yeah, but when do I get to save your life? Goodbye, Come on. Come on, you piece of shit. Come and eat me. <laughs> Yeah, that was only my first brush with death today. I had two yesterday, that didn't stop me. Uh, you're sure? I mean, I, I could put you up with... Charlie. Oh, fuck, shit, fuck. Still alive? Ain't kicking. What, you feel you had time for a swim? Just a game of Marco Polo. I won. Hey, Charlie! Charlie! Come on, buddy, where are you? Charlie, don't do this shit. Come on out now.
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That hurt I'm like sorry. a bitch. Well, I said I'm sorry. That doesn't make it not hurt. All right, you know what? I'm not sorry. Where's Kay? Uh, he went into the house. <laughs> sorry, go on. Uh, yeah, he went to the house a few minutes ago. Thank you.
Thanks for the help, cuz. instead. You know, we need to get back out there. I know. So let's go. Just, no, just wait, Kay. Look at me, Kay. Now, none of this is your fault. It's not. It's not Davy's fault. It's not Davy's dad's fault. Do you believe that? Do you believe me? I trust you. Why? Because you're still here. I swear to you, I am not going to leave you. Last round. You ready? I'm still here. Davy, you find your niche? I only got Kenny. God damn it. You got Charlie too. I'm gonna kill every goddamn one of these motherfucking pieces of plastic shit. Damn right you are. We're gonna help you. Laura, you good on ammo? I can use a refill. All right, we'll fill it up. Oh, shit. Okay? Okay. Remember, remember when I told you that I found something important in Davy's dad's notes? Yeah, yeah. Well, we need to get the wounded bags. We need to do. We need to Guys. drive them down to the stakes. What would you find? Put well, them on the stakes and like set it on fire. Guys! What the fuck is that noise? Hey, what's it? It's like a million of them. <laughs> nope, just one. <laughs> Oh my god! Seems to be in one hell of a goddamn pickle! This is what I was trying to tell you. What? It's the mother. It's in Davy's dad's notes. If we kill her, the rest of the bags die like vampires or something. You knew about this? She's really fucking big. How could you forget about that? Oh, gee, I tried to think the other side to that. Uh, guys, how long do you think she's gonna sit there letting us shoot the shit? <laughs>
drove me back this far, they were too strong, and I wasn't going to let them get me. I'm sorry. I was going to kill myself. Such a fucking cop out. It was fluke luck that Davy's dad showed up when he did. He called Joffrey from Kentucky to check on the store, and when he found out the order forms hadn't gone out, he got the next flight back. The bags were out for a day, and in that day, 116 people lost their lives. Laura's aunt was not one of them. The president declared our town in a state of emergency, and though it was hard for the FBI to at first grasp the concept, the entire town gave statements saying that it wasn't a raging fire, a flash flood or freak outbreak of the plague, but plastic bags that killed so many people that day. There are days when I manage not to even think about the bags, and others when I wake up in a cold sweat. But I try not to let it worry me. I have more important things to worry about now. Like her. It must have been a miracle. It must have been a godsend. It must have been I would be crazy to not think you're amazing Cause you really saved me from myself It must have been a miracle Broken 
Oh. 